comes, here he comes, right in my sights, right in my sights. Uh, oh, I missed. Well, that's, I'm going to call it a day. Let's get to it. So today I decided to do a little duck hunting this morning. So just had a little bit of free time now that I'm done with my harvest anyways. Looks like somebody still has corn in the field. I'm gonna have to see if I can possibly do some custom harvesting. But we need to get our combines back into our uh, shed or at least back into our yard and cleaned up. So let's go over there and get them clean. Start this old girl up. So, happy belated Thanksgiving. If you celebrate Thanksgiving, hopefully you got to celebrate it with your family. Hopefully everything is well. So, I would like to get my uh, all my harvesters back to my farmyard. Uh, the grain cart, I have to do a little bit of unloading. I still have some grain to put in the bin. Got to get that done. But other than that... Uh, we are done with our harvest. I don't know if I'm going to do any custom work. I know Grant still has crops in the field. Jake still does. Buck still does. So there's a few people we're going to have to help out. Got to open up the gates. Get our dealership opened up for the day. Man, I just left my truck out in the middle of the road. Probably shouldn't do that all the time. That's probably not smart. So I'm just going to open up this and get it all set up for daily operations. There we go. Start up all the lights and everything. We do have a few employees. I have one repair guy. I'm still looking for a manager. I'd really like to see get a manager so I can run this. I, I want to focus more on farming. So this would just basically be a side business for me but I can't do this in farming that's just way too much and I have some pigs I need to feed too so it gets a little bit too much on my plate if you know what I mean all right so I'm gonna go over to the field uh, got to unload the grain cart and also I gotta bring all the harvesters back to the farmyard eerie quiet in the morning that's what I like Driving early in the morning is a perfect time to drive around because no one's on the road. Especially if you live in a uh, big city. But out in the farm, there is like no one. It's a ghost town. Uh, looks like uh, Grant still has to put away his stuff. So I'm just going to basically... Uh, my harvesters are still left in the field over here. Got to go get them. My grain cart, I'm pretty sure is about... Full. So I gotta start that old 84 up, get it unloaded. Here we go. Looks like no one disturbed them. That's always good news. I know a few of these uh, teenagers. They like breaking into these, and driving around the field, and doing all a bunch of crazy stuff. Glad I haven't had that experience yet, because that would be expensive. That's why you always hide your keys. Remember that. Always hide the keys. So let's start this old girl up and get it warmed up. It's a little bit cold. It's 41 degrees. Uh-oh. Alright, not too bad. Should start up. It's almost brand spanking new. I mean, be kind of bad if the battery's already dead. Get this old girl running. Man, gotta get that heater running in here. Gotta open up my vents. Oh man, a little chilly. So glad I have a heated seat in this thing. So we are putting this into our bins. Uh, I think we pretty much all but one load we basically have uh, put into our bins. So the price is not really that 
feasible to make money, let's just say. So, especially for all the loans we have. So, I'm going to sit on the grain for a little while and probably sell it once the price spikes up a little bit, hopefully. Alright, we'll start this old international up. Hopefully this thing starts up. Uh-oh. 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 I think I got some ether stuck around here somewhere. At least the battery's charged on that thing. Where is that ether at? All right, let's see at this ether. So I don't usually do this, but I don't really want to go drag a cord over here and wait to have it warm up the block. So we'll spray a little bit in there. Woo! Start it up. Got it started, boys. Uh, we just have to open up our gate here. There we go. We have that unloaded. So that should be it. So we shouldn't have to put another load in or to our bins. Should be all our grain for this year. Our corn. Our corn, anyways. So I'll take this uh, John Deere back. And while I'm doing that, I'm going to call my wife and have her pick me up take me back over to the combines hold this girl up so I think basically I'm just gonna grease all this stuff up get it a uh, grease for winter war eyes I'm gonna wash it all up because I'm not for sure if I'm completely done harvesting I don't really want to do basically my full cleanup twice so I'm just gonna Wash them down a little bit, blow them off, and then uh, we'll see if somebody wants to hire us out or not. Yeah, I'm pretty sure it's getting even colder. I thought when the sun comes up, it uh, gets warmer. Isn't that supposed to be the way it goes? We're going to have to make sure our breeding pigs are staying warm in here. Oh yeah, forgot to tell you guys. Guess Platte Valley fixed our 9400 over here so this thing is running great now that we don't need it now that's a good looking pair right there still think I like my J&M a little bit better just with the patriotic flag that's a good looking J&M and where's my wife at she's supposed to be here already man it's gonna take me forever if she keeps on have to wait for her. Come on, where you at? All right, she finally dropped me off here. So now, I'm, I think I'm gonna take a uh, bee spine. Oh, poor bee spine. Really needs a good washing here. So I'm definitely probably gonna unhook this corn head, put that in the shed quickly, and then uh, I'll wash. Actually, I'm gonna blow everything off and probably wash the corn head, wash, blow off the combine a little bit. Um, probably just set it to the side and hopefully we get some custom harvest. Now will this thing start? Woo! Yeah, buddy. So I'm definitely going to leave this running for a little while. So now we're going to go start up the silver bullet. Oh yeah, I guess I uh, didn't tell you guys. So you guys basically unanimously called this the silver bullet there was some good names out there a lot of funny names like that the cedar the galvanized cedar uh, galvanized fire starter or fire starter kit there was some good names out there but it's a gleaner I can't call it a bad name it's the silver bullet I mean look at it even dirty it's beautiful Let's see if we can get this old girl started here Yep. There we go. The old girl started. So even in its old age, it can still run. Best thing about this, I got my foot pegs down there, so I can just kick my feet out. I'm gonna raise this corn head while we're waiting here. Fold it up. Fold this old girl up for road transportation. So I think this uh, 
beast spine's ready to go here. It's warmed up. So we will take this back to the farmyard. Hey, uh, Grant. Your soybeans are ready to harvest over here. Need, uh, help with that? Man, he needs to get them harvested. Otherwise, them soybeans are going to be dropping on the ground. So, especially before hard snow, you want to get them soybeans out. I think Jake has his field over there, too. I prefer Jake leaves at his field so it can feed my, uh, winter deer over there. So, I'm going to have to ask Jake just to leave his, uh, in the field if he could. Help the old neighbor out. Uh, I'm going to park this right in front of this shed here so I can get it start washed off here. Lower the head. Alright, so that should be good. I'll shut it off for now. Hopefully I don't have to wait an hour for my wife. Come on. Whew. So glad this is nice and warm inside the cab. That's the only reason why you uh, let these things warm up. Uh, I'm just joking. Man, I got a lot of stuff to move away out of this field. I still have my trucks over here. I still have my augers set up. Man, I got so much stuff to do. Maybe I'll harvest Grant's field over here and just put it in my bin. Then uh, that that will help him out because then I will sell the grain, take a large cut of it. You guys think Grant would even notice if I uh, harvest this field over here? Look at that beautiful bullet coming your way. I'll park these next to each other here. I uh, don't know. Can I unfold this head and not hit anything? Uh oh, uh oh. Am I gonna miss it? Yep, there we go. I guess we had plenty of space. It just doesn't look like much space from the cab here. Alright, now it's time to get dirt and everything all over my cracks. Oh man, I'm gonna be taking a few showers tonight and I'll still find dirt all over me. So I think I'm going to try to put each head, I'm gonna put one head over here and another head on this side and I think that'll work. We'll see if I can fit them in there or not. Alright, gotta be careful that we don't hit anything. Very careful. Lower this down a little bit. Ooh, gotta sh cut it sharp here. There we go. Alright, now we just leave this on this side. Head kind of works right there, so probably want to use that corner anyways so now I think I'm gonna put both of these harvesters I'm gonna try to shove them in our big shed here like I said I'll, I just want to keep them nice and warm so we don't have to cold start them here my heated shed here mm, yeah I think I can park the the silver bullet right here and the beast spine can fit right there. Or should I park the silver bullet by its brother over here? There we go. Park this old girl right here. And looking good. Looking good. Alright, now we just have to take care of beast spine. Beast spine served us well for another year of harvest, that's for sure. Glad I got this harvester. Uh -oh. The only thing different about beast spine and the, the gleaner is the gleaner will sh turn a lot sharper. That is for sure. Beast spine does not have the turn radius the gleaner has. Alright. So that should be good. Lower. My OCD makes me uh, straighten this out here. There we go. Another head in the shed. Head in the shed. Man, I feel like Austin Powers trying to go down a hallway there. 
All right, so we're going to hurry up and get this uh, bee spine in the shed here so we can shut this door and stop letting the heat out of this shop. It's not cheap heat with this base away. Hopefully we get to drive you some more beast. All right, so we got all these in the shed now. Shut that door and let that shop heat back up. Just need one more ride from the wifey. Forgot, I had to take the trucks back too. Almost forgot about them. How can I forget about this view? It's a beautiful looking rig there, that's for sure. One mean machine. So I think I'm going to leave this over at the farmyard just because I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to haul some grain here sooner or later. There we go. Park that over by its grain carts. So I forgot this thing has a load of grain. I think I'm just going to end up taking this to the elevator. So we'll haul this quickly. Get this over to the elevator good looking little truck here so not the biggest grain wagon on it but we still got 900 bushels in there almost a thousand and you believe Jake still has a lot of soybeans in that field over there and I don't know how to turn off this fan but it's kind of too cold outside to have a fan blowing in your face to figure out how to turn that thing off you guys know that Jake's a cotton farmer? Got him some cotton. That boy's country. It's one of my favorite things to do is haul grain with the semi. I don't know what it is about it, but it just seems like a most relaxing job to have. Got a haul away, so for whatever reason, the co op is not most uh, is not selling for the highest price I don't know why not co-op has to get on it I'm gonna haul to uh, the biodiesel uh, elevator again here that's just because they're almost giving a dollar more no way I can afford the co-op price man that train seems so long look how long that thing is I feel like I'm going to be waiting here forever. It just keeps going. Whew, finally got to the elevator. Seems like that load took forever. I have an odd big area right in front of the elevator here. Really got to rethink this elevator placement. Unloading the moolah. Ooh, $10,000 in that load. Not going to pay off the bills with that, that's for sure. What the heck? Is that the General Lee? That's the General Lee. What is that doing there? It's a rare sighting. Look at all that shiny green over there. Now that is impressive equipment. Hey Grant, you left your play toys out. Ooh, finally down with that load, so we're gonna put this over here. Uh, put it back. So basically, I was just borrowing this from the lot for a little while. Where do I want this? I'm gonna put it right over here to the side here. I don't like where I had it the first time. There we go. Alright, like that. Get all them eyes looking at this beautiful old Kenworth. Alright, now I gotta call my wife again. So basically, when my wife was pulling me over, said that uh, she got a call for somebody that said they possibly have what we've been looking for. So if you guys don't know, I've been trying to look for some really good, uh, what do you like to call lawn art? I've been looking, having my eyes out, I've been asking around, just been talking to local farmers. They knew of some good lawn art 
that could be around here. But I think I got a possible lead. So we need to go back and get our gooseneck. So I've been looking for some beautiful old time, like some Model A, some Model M, some the real old school, just when tractors was simple. Basically, I want to try to draw some interest into my dealership. So I've been looking around. So you know them type of tractors that look kind of like that. You know? Them are good looking tractors. But I've been asking around everywhere. And I've them things are hard to find anymore. So either, you know, they're parted out. They're rusted out. Or the collectors don't give them away. So basically, this person... Uh, recently inherited a piece of land. When they inherited the piece of land, they inherited all the items on the land. It had an old barn, it had a, a few pieces of equipment around, but when they started looking around, they found some old uh, machinery in the barn. Alright, get this thing hooked up. So basically, because I've been asking around everywhere, they heard of me, so I was the first person they thought about calling. So I need to get over there before somebody else gets this good deal. Hoping that they aren't completely rusted out and they're good enough to just put on lawn art to begin with. But I'm going to head over there. That's why they always say, the squeakiest wheel always gets serviced first. So... That's why you just keep have to put that feeler out because if you're the squeaky wheel, maybe you'll get a good deal. And I'm hoping this is a good deal. Pretty odd these roads are still ghost roads here. I don't know, this is a little creepy. Man, I do like the looks of this truck. That is one good looking truck. Especially with my new big techs on the back. Looking good. Yeah, I see there's some more ducks on my pond over there. Gonna have to get me one of them. So basically they said it's almost on the outskirts of this county. So it should be about a few miles away. Looks like another farmer over here has some corn in the field. Sure is a lot of acres that still need to be harvested late here in fall. I'd be worried. Need to get that harvested. Is that the sign for our tractors? Maybe that's our sign. They said it was by three different size silos. Guess that they're all different sizes over there. Uh, is that it over there? Maybe this is the place? Don't know. Looks like an old farm. Whoa! That guy just answers the door with a shotgun. That is definitely not the place, but he says most likely our place that we're looking for is right across the street. He says uh, he, he has not seen that barn open for years, so I'm thinking it will, but I definitely want to get off his land before he gets any more crazy on me. Alright. So I think this might be the place. Yeah, this might be... So, these doors are chained shut. I'm gonna have to get my... I thought they said that they'd be open. Wait a second. You see that through the cracks there? I see. Yep. That looks like an old Alice Chalmers right there. This has to be it. I think I'm gonna break that lock. All right, so we cut that lock there. Let's open this door up. Uh, there we go. Whoa! You see these? Man, 
These are some good looking tractors here. Man, so this guy only wanted 10 grand for all three. I think, yep, I'm gonna go pay that man and I'm gonna get these tractors. So none of them run, basically none of them run in years. Probably at least a decade. So we got a lot of work to do if we wanna run these tractors. I did bring some ether along and some clean fuel. I don't think that's going to be enough. I'm probably going to have to air up some of these tires. What is this? A Massey Harris 30? Man, I'm surprised that paint's still so sharp on this Massey. It's kind of odd to see something that bright. I mean, these, uh, the John Deere and the Alice Chalmer, you can see, have lost a little paint. But Massey must have been repainted recently. So think these will help draw customers in just to look at these old tractors so plan is to put them as lawn art maybe even get them to run around and you know fart around with them so I'm gonna go pay this guy here quickly so this guy lives quite a ways away so we're gonna go pay him and uh, once we get done with that, we'll come back and uh, pick up these tractors. Man, this big trailer I have was definitely not easy pulling into that guy's place. I've just barely got out of there. But we paid the guy, so now we got to pick up our beautiful old metal we have in this barn here. Alright, I think that's as far as I can get my uh, truck in there without damaging the trailer too much get out here all right so brought some chains along and some come alongs I'm hoping I can just drag these onto our trailer here we'll start with the lightest I think it's the lightest anyways it's the smallest I don't know if it's the lightest but and this is just like a frame and an engine and the tires What's your favorite tractor? I'm thinking the John Deere Model A, just because of the way it, it it will sound once we get it running. And things have the most beautiful put, 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 put. All right, so we, we're just dragging this along. It's actually working not too bad. We just basically hooked a come along all the way to there, and we're just come along in them all the way up. So I can tell you one thing, my bicep is going to be huge after, all right. Finally got that, uh, what is this, a WD-49. Finally got that up there. Man, I had to take a few breaks. That My f arm is killing me. Should have got a battery-powered, like, a winch. That would have definitely been a better tool to have than just come along in these, stretch them out, come along the back in, and stretch them back in. It takes forever. We go just a little, about halfway there, I guess. This thing was all the way to the back of the barn. Uh, uh, this Massey Harris is so much heavier than the Alice Chalmers. Whew. This is painful. Ooh, I gotta shake it off, shake it off, shake it off. Whew, my arm's burning. All right, now it's for my favorite uh, tractor. So I decided just to put some ether in, drain the... So I put a cable up to it thinking maybe let's see if this old girl will start uh oh uh oh this thing gonna start up come on come on keep turning around come on oh 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 oh, oh yeah Woo. you believe this thing it runs it's so cool all right now let's this is gonna save my arm a ton. Ooh, ooh it's still, the gear works and all. Oh man, this is probably the first time this thing is running over a decade. These John Deere's are made differently back in the day. They'll run even if you leave them in the shed forever. Might have to play around with that Model A. Got all the tractors on there now, so now we just need to haul them back. 
Alright, got them all strapped down, so let's start heading back. Nice and easy out, out that little way there. Woo! And that trailer's so long. Big ticks, man. 35 foot trailer here. Thing's long. Of course, I have my tow mirrors folded out here. Gotta watch our uh, tractors to make sure they don't uh, escape from us. Definitely want to take it easy. I don't want one of them bouncing on the highway. Now that is the creepiest schoolhouse I've ever seen. I am so glad I didn't have to go there. It's like our all of our lawn art there is riding perfectly right now. Looking good on the back of this thing. Now, I think them look nice right there underneath the American flag. So, got there, and then I got the John Deere on the other side so it can be seen from our corner. Got to get a good, uh, from the road view there. So, yeah, yeah, you can really see that, uh, Massey Ferguson up there underneath the flag so you can see the John Deere. Let's go over here to this corner and see how good we can see that John Deere or not. Oh yeah, that John Deere looks good. Wish I could buy three of them John Deere A's, so... Looks like we can see it pretty good from the, this corner spot here. But thank you all for watching and I will see you later here in Iowa. Happy Thanksgiving, all. Thank you all for watching. Like, comment, and share, and subscribe. See you next time.